What's up, guys? Um, today I am. I just got in the mail. I want to say it's my lint shaver for uh, lint and fuzz off of your clothes. Um, I want to see how well it works. I do have my Carhartt, and it's uh, it's covered in little pieces of fuzz hair. Um, it's covered in little pieces of fuzz and hair, so we're gonna see, um, how well it works. We want to use the outside first. We're gonna unbox this bad boy, and you guys, this is my first time unboxing it. This is my first time using one. Um, I heard that they were good. Here's the back side of the coat. Um, there's like little pieces of fuzz. Um, everything like that. There is little pieces of hair. I don't know if you can see it or not because of the camera quality. But there are like little pieces of hair, little pieces of fuzz. I'm going to turn my second light on. Get some more light in here. Um, so, without further ado, let's open it. Put that right there. So let's open this motherfucker. Well, that's it. Um, it's a fabric shaver, as you can see right here. That's what it looks like. I think it was like nine, ten bucks off of Amazon. Um, for easy removal of lint and baubles, removes lint and baubles, two speed settings, three cutting blades, completely cordless. So, um, it runs on two AA batteries. Uh, ideal for all wool products and fabrics. Extra large cutting head. Um, three adjustable cutting lengths. Two speed settings. Runs on two AA batteries. Removable lint collection container. Includes cleaning brush and protective cap. So, um, my grandma had one of these, but I don't think that they're the same one. But it did take the fuzz off of my uh, dress coat for like uh, a suit but it did take mainly all the fuzz off and it worked pretty good so easy removal of lint and baubles clothes like new in minutes wool coats sweaters scarves and gloves leggings bed linens mats and cushions I'm pretty sure it's I mean it's universal so I'm pretty sure you can use it on anything that's not like really like crazy I'm guessing <coughs> excuse me so without further ado let's actually take this bad boy out of the box see what we're working with um, I may or may not need my knife but we're going to figure this out to take this tape off What we're gonna do, we're just gonna fold this tape over. So like next time I close it, it don't have to stick. So here's what the inside looks like. Um, everything's bagged and put together. What's this? Oh, these are the blades. These are two different. You have two sets of blades in here. You can probably just pop those on. Um, what else we have in here? Oh, all right, we have, I'm going to take everything out. So that's everything in the box. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. So we'll figure it out like this. There's different things. Um, I know a little bit of Spanish, but I mainly just did a lot of pictures. So let's just put all that paperwork and all that stuff to the side. We have our cleaning brush, which we're just going to take that out. 
put that little bag away. We have our cleaning brush to clean the blades. I'm going to guess and say that this is the protector cover, I want to say. So, here's the protective cover. Nice, simple, it's nothing too crazy. Here's the lint shaver. Um, take that out. There's already, I think there's already blades and stuff in here. I do not know. Oh, what well, there is. Oh, there's, I believe that this just goes right over. I don't know. I want to figure this out. Um, this is a promise thing. There's a one setting and two settings. Pull to open. Regulator. You want thick or you want thin. But. It says to pull to open. So I'm not really understanding. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I'm guessing that these just stay on there. Not really sure. So yeah, I'm guessing that this just slides off. Um, I don't really see it going anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this slides twists off too. And then there's the blades. They are pretty sharp. And they do spin. And they do spin, but I would be careful with those because um, it just seems like these can actually come off or break pretty easily. So I am going to be careful with those. I am going to put this back on because I don't know what it all does. So I figured that this little piece will come off right here and this gray piece will stay on. But I guess not. So, I don't know. Let's just put that back on. We're going to put this to the side for right now. Um, let's see, the problem is... Um, i got my AA batteries. I had to go downstairs and get them before I make this video. I have AAA in my room, but I didn't know if they took AA, so... This is just an invitation. One by one, make life easier and smarter. This is just uh, join us and receive a coupon and save up to $55 on your next purchase. Um, so, I'm guessing this is pretty much just like a warranty or something. Um, we're probably not even going to need that. Um, this, this is just showing you how to use it. Um, <coughs> um, it says how to use the, this is the quick start guide right here. Shows everything that you need to know. Uh, for knitted fabrics, guide the shaver in the direction of the knitting fabrics with accessories. Avoid shaving over any accessories. Thin garments, fold into two layers and lay over an, an ironing board. A quick shaving, slide the shaver around over the top of the garment. It is recommended to attach the spacer when shaving plush garments as this ensures efficient layer removal without damaging the plush. So I'm guessing that So I'm guessing that you want to keep this little cover on um So 
So this little thing, this little gray thing right here that I pulled off is called the spacer. I want to say that you have to use it to, it says it's recommended to attach the spacer when shaving plush garments. So plush garments is pretty much like stuffed animals. Um, like anything plushy, uh, like pretty much like stuffed animals, kind of like in that area. Um. But I'm pretty sure in your clothes, you don't have to. Like pillows, you probably wouldn't use it on pillows. Um, I think that's about it. And then it shows you how to remove the, it shows you how to remove and attach the spacer. It shows you how to replace the cutting blades. So we are most likely going to keep this. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep that because it shows us how to use everything. And here's the battery compartment. This just slid right off. There's the battery compartment. We're going to slap us on uh, two double A's. I was kind of sketchy on whether to get this or not because some people have said that theirs worked but then stopped after a few times. So I was like, uh, like I don't even know if I should do this or not. You know, this little shaver thing could do a lot better um, on how to put the batteries and stuff like that back in. So here's the one setting. Here's the second one. It's maybe pretty loud. It's a little bit quiet. We're going to turn that off. We're going to actually going to take... Will this be considered thick or thin? I'm going to say thin. So we'll just take that. We're going to pop that off. And we're going to see how well it works. So we're going to put it on setting... 1. Let's see how well it works. Try setting two. So, as you can see, there is some dust and lint and all that good stuff in here. Um, so, you can tell up there. But, I probably, like, wouldn't use it from probably, like, coats. It did take uh, bobbles off, though. So, we're going, that was the outside, though. We're going to try the inside. And, um, so we're going to lay this puppy flat. We're going to take all the hard pieces off first. So we're just going to lay this flat. Um, there's like a little section. I mean, the whole thing is covered in bubbles, but it's not, like, covered in bubbles badly, so. This is what the inside looks like. If you don't know what bubbles are, bubbles are like little balls, little pieces of fuzz. So we're going to try number one and see how it works.
So it works pretty good. Um, it works like it needs to. Nothing too crazy. Nothing. It works. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, it does say that it's not intended for um, animal hair. See that right there? Like, it's not going to pick that up. Some people get upset and a little bit mad and whatnot. Sorry if that was loud. I put that right by the microphone. But some people got mad and stuff when in return theirs and put a bad review because it wouldn't pick up animal hair or anything like that. Well, here's my thing. If you have animal hair, use a lint brush. Those are what those are for. This is mainly for bobbles. Um, you know, like, really stuck on lint. This isn't for, um, what you call it. This isn't for dog hair, pet hair, um, human hair. You know, this is for bobbles and light lint. That'll just shave right off of here. As you can tell, it did clean up a big portion, and it worked fantastic. I like it. I mean, it's the best. It's the best ten dollar investment you'll ever have. You know, and here's here's the proof right here. There's lint in there. It's even up there. Sorry for the Samsung Galaxy quality. But you know it works. It's all the lint right there. There's a big ball of it right here. Right there inside. There's a big ball of lint. As you can tell, my jacket is safe. It's it's safe. Nothing's cut up. Nothing you know. Now we're gonna try it on setting two and see what happens. <laughs> And again, it's the same result. It's working fantastic. I see, I'm not expecting it to pick up hair or anything like that. I'm not expecting it for that at all. There is some black bobbles like right here. Little black ones. And as you can tell, I'll do two squares right here. Those just come right off the jacket. Look, I'll do it right here, these two squares. Ready? Just lightly shave it in circles, whatever you want to do. You do it side to side, up and down. Well, I'll just do a third square. Let's even do it down here. So you guys can really tell the difference. Look at that. Just come straight off. No gimmicks. Just a ten dollar lint shaver. Look at that. Now you guys just saw bobbles right here. It's night and everything looks starting to look new. See look, even up here. Watch this. I'll even do just this one square. Look how smooth the surface looks. We'll do this one right here. Look at that. We even do up here. Even do right over here. No problem. It's a lint, it's called a lint shaver, guys, for a reason. Alright, not a lint brush. Or, you know, a hair lint brush or whatever they're called. A brush roller. Because those are sticky. Those would take the hairs and excess lint off of your garments. Whatever you may be wearing. But this right here, uh-uh. This takes off the harder 
Just make sure you guys' stuff look brand new. Your blankets, everything. Couches. She's like, we even do a test run right on my bed. Look at all those bubbles. You ready for this? We'll put the bad boy on too. We got him to suck everything up. And all you do is just run it over lightly. Look at this. We'll take it off, shake it a little bit, tap it to get all the lint off. Look at all that lint down there. All those baubles and everything. Harder to get lint. Put it back up on too. Just shave it right over it, see? Picking it. Even harder baubles. Harder baubles right here. Look at this. Gone. I love this thing. Who knew old people that are old fashioned, they always find the craziest shit. Put it on a lower setting. Look at that. You guys just saw all that lint that was on my bed. And that's still on my bed. Look at that. And we'll just tap it again. If it's on the bed, I'm pretty sure you can just tap it as hard as you want. But look at all that in there. Look at all that. Do not say that this doesn't work, guys. I don't know what you guys are doing wrong. Like, I'm even... You can see, like, a little dust right here. <sighs> Blow that right off. But, guys, I'm even sitting here, and I'm... I'm using this. How many minutes have I been going live? 22 minutes. I'd say about 15 minutes out of these 22 minutes I've been doing this. And not once has it stopped on me. It still works. You know, um, everything's safe. Uh, these blades, they won't touch you. So, see, it won't cut you. Um, you know, this works perfectly. I mean, like, it give me like a half an hour tops so my bed look just perfectly new. Um, I'll even try it on a pillow right here. Let's put that down. Um, we'll see what pillow needs it. We'll try it on like these pillows. Let's see if there's anything on here. No, there's not really anything on here. Well, we'll try it on a little setting on this pillow. See how it works. As you can tell, guys, it's not picking up hair right there. It, that's not its job. That's not what it does. As you can tell, guys, it's making my pillow look almost brand new to brand new. Just like how it's meant to do. There's not many baubles on here because I haven't used it for a long time. But, <coughs> you guys pretty much get the gist. I mean, I'm still going to use it, don't get me wrong. But these are more like a, this is more like a satin fabric, so that's probably why it, nothing's working. But, um, God, I mean, like, look at this. Like, we're just going to sit here, we're just going to do this little diamond piece right here. On a low setting at first, then we'll hit the high setting. Just so you guys can see. So get a, uh, what you call it. Get your guys' uh, memory together and take a picture of this before you, before I do all this so you guys can see a difference. Let me do the side real quick. I mean, you can go as slow or as fast as you guys want with this thing. And that's what it is on one setting right here. Boom. And then we'll try it on a faster setting.
And you can really feel it and hear it working too. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about this machine. You can feel it and hear it working. Look at that. Remember how much was on this bed before? Those even harder to get lints. Look at that. Right off. Just a few swivs of the wrist. All of it comes right off. Look at that. Literally. Like my mind is blown. This is like a little black stain. But right here, I mean, I can just get that right off. That was just a piece of... That's a piece of flat fuzz. But look at that. Compared to everything else, I would say like not even five minutes on this part. And it's already almost gone. Like, we'll even do this bad boy. See how much is on there? Look. Let's sit there a few flicks of the wrist. Let's sit there and bust this one out. Look at that. Do a little fix of the wrist, little circles. Look at that. And I'll just pull these. So I'll start pulling these off, ruining your fabric. You know. Look at that. A few flicks of the wrist. And looking brand new. I'll give this a few taps. And look at all that in there. All I did was do two diamonds on my bed. Two diamonds. And the majority of the inside and outside of that coat. And you guys witnessed it firsthand right here. $10. Butrol fabric saver. Butrol fabric saver. 10 bucks. Everything's looking new. It's feeling smooth. Just like how it should be. Not bumpy. Like come on guys. You guys can't get any better than this. And look, man, we'll hit a few more spots. This thing has it all, man. This thing will put lint rollers out of business, if you know what I mean. We'll just do the side, you know? Right here. Look at that. And it, and it, it doesn't even have to be perfect either, because you know it's a, it's a freaking bed. Because this thing is so amazing. I mean, I can go all day showing you guys how well this thing works. And you, you know, there's no gimmicks, no nothing, guys. You see me unbox it and put it together and turn it on and everything right before your eyes on this screen. Right on this screen. See, and it's like a little vacuum chamber in there. So everything gets sucked in. Nothing gets blown out. Those hard to reach cracks in your bed, no problem. Look at this. Of course, I'm gonna sit here and brush most of the things off. But look at this. You guys can even hear it on your screen that's working. Look at this. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like the bigger pieces of bobbles. Like those hard to get inside cracks. You can just pull those out. It's really all up to you guys. But I'm telling you. Even the hardest ones, guys. Even the hardest ones. Just a few swims of the wrist. A few flicks of the wrist. You know, just slowly getting it off there. And if it doesn't work, if it's not picking anything up you know just let it sit for a little bit like this let it sit turn it off tap it a few times on a soft thing don't tap it on the floor don't tap it on your fucking thing over there tap it on a soft surface you know and then get it all down turn it on too go back at it again 
Even turn it on one if you have to. Just turn it on one. You know. Look at this. And it's safe on everything so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting it caught. Getting it caught, whatever. Put this bad boy right back on too, man. And get to debobbing my shit. You know? Right here. And this is like a little free bobble. But sometimes they're harder to get. You know what I mean? So you gotta like shave them down. You know? You guys gotta shave them down. But look at this. Can you guys tell a difference or am I tripping? Can you guys tell a difference or am I tripping? And then the bigger bobbles, whatever you can get, guys. If you just take your time and just slowly shave it down, it'll work. Put it on the side, you know, shave it down. And then next thing you know, it'll get picked up. Why don't you untake that piece of wood off my bed? My floor is hardwood, and the wood sometimes come off, comes off the floor, so. But I fucking shit you guys not, boy. This thing is phenomenal. If you hear it, like, trying to slow down, it just means that there's probably too much bobbles or lint in there. All you have to do is just a uh, few flicks of the wrist or just fix it. But you guys saw it right here though. It works. The bigger bobbles you can just probably just pull off. But yeah guys, you can see all the masterpiece right here. I think it's pretty neat. Um in my opinion, I think it's pretty neat. Um, I'll wear a hat because sometimes my um, hair is a mess. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go outside. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty decent here. Um, I don't know where you guys live. If you guys live in a different state or what? Um. But here's pretty good. I mean, nothing too crazy. They do tell the truth, though. Man, the camera adds like 10 pounds, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, also, if you guys want, um, I have little stress balls, but they have little different faces on them. Um, they're made out of really, really good material. Um, I bought these, um, a while back, actually, maybe like last year, the year before, but these are perfect. I mean, they, they smell like, they smell like rubber, obviously, because that's pretty much what they are. They're like a rubber silicone base, but, um, here's what they're called. I had these for like a year or so. They're pretty much, the boxes are pretty much banged up. This is what they look like. Kaomaru, I want to say there are. But um, it says, are you laughing every day? Are you crying? Are you pleasant? Are you busy? Are you doing your best? Are you expressing your feelings correctly? Are you willing, are you telling the meaning certainly? Are you communicating with your, with your important person? All right, let's catch in the heart it says for the people who have such troubles for recently that for getting a smile feeling stress it says three but i'm pretty sure i'm stressed and telling to pass by someone you must be unconscious of the passage of time one two so pretty much um uh 
what you call it. These these are pretty. I mean, if you guys get one, if you want, here's this. There's different things. That's what the guy looks like. Um, I got mine off of Amazon. At first, I didn't think that they were going to come because it was, like, taking forever. But then I got them, and I opened them up, and they're pretty cool. I mean, there's four different... Uh, there's four of them, but um, they all come in different faces, like how some things come in different styles. These all come in different faces. There's four different faces. You can squeeze them, pull them, whatever. You know, make, like... Make funny faces with them. Um, but there are four different faces. I think that there's two different colors. I think that there's this black one right here. Or a white one, I want to say. Um, I forget. But it's something like that. But, you know, you can squeeze them. They're stress balls. You can squeeze them. Um, you could, you know, sit here, play with it, make funny faces. Try to get light to focus in this bitch. You can make like different faces with them. Squeeze their faces, pull them, do whatever. Um, when when they first come in, they do have a white powdery thing on them, like a white powdery substance on them. Um, do not wash it off. Just you know, squeeze your stress ball until it works in. Only because that's like pretty much like a talcum baby powder type of thing, and it preserves the material that the stress ball is made of and if you wash it off it's really not your stress balls aren't really going to last as long um mine did have the white powder on it until i just started playing with them more um and there's no white powder on them whatsoever now i mean i have like little holes because there's little like uh there's a like little bubbles on mine but that's just how they're made um but overall they are they do work pretty good they've some people, some reviews are like, oh, well, they, like, fell apart when I was playing with it, or this happened, or that happened. Some people on Amazon make the funniest reviews, because it's funny how, like, like, what I don't get is that you have to look at the reviews before buying something. You have to see how many stars that it's rated. You have to look at the ratings. You have to look at the reviews. You have to look and see what year it was put out, because if you're buying something that has just been put on Amazon... You are going to run into problems, you, and you are going to waste your money. Um, so just leave that person or that company, you know, that bad review. Um, just save them on that because <coughs> um, most people go on Amazon and they look for something, but they don't, like, actually look into it. They don't look for something that's the same but cheaper. Um, they want the best thing out there, so they're, you know, you're spending 20 bucks on something that, you can get on Amazon, like you, like people go on Amazon and buy things for like twenty bucks. When you can go on Amazon and find something the same thing but for cheaper for like ten dollars or something like that. Um, there is a saying that you are getting what you paid for. However, on Amazon, there is another saying that the cheaper the best because there are some people out there that have said that they spent like a hundred dollars at walmart buying something when they found it for cheaper on amazon and it works 10 times better and lasting longer so you may never know i mean i still have i still have like a five dollar cup that i still use to this day and i mean i've had it for like a few years and the same cups at walmart and on amazon for like thirty dollars it's like uh it's not like a koozie but it's sort of like a uh what do you want to call it? Uh, a tumbler. Now I am going to put headphones in, so I don't know how well the audio would be, because I am going outside. So, we're going to work with this audio. My bad. If you're having headphones in, I'm watching this. This was a uh, review on the Bunatural, uh, on the Butrol Fabric Shaver. We're going to turn it into like a little longer of a vlog. Um, but all my live videos are uploaded to YouTube though. You can see all of mine. You can see my jewelry view. Um, 
I think I did another review or I did like my step to success uh, type of video. And it is windy out here, so I don't know how well, I don't know how well it would be out here, the audio, because it is windy where I live. It's windy, it was snowing last night, but it's mainly windy. Um, for those who are wondering... Um, I do still have my jewel. Some people are like, oh my god, Zach is smoking a cigarette. Um, I ran out of jewel pods because I was excited. So I smoked all of my jewel pods within a week. Um, and I only had four pods. So one pod has 5% nicotine, which I don't think that's the highest percent nicotine, but some people say it is high. Um, but that's equivalent to like a whole pack of cigarettes. So with that being said, um, you have one pack of cigarettes per pod, and you have four pods, so that's four packs of cigarettes. I, I smoked all that within a week, but I wasn't by myself, though. I was smoking it with my girlfriend. I was smoking it with uh, other friends. So, and I just saw my friend yesterday. Um, I, a lot of shit has happened. Everybody... First, my friend was kicked out of the house. He was arguing with his aunt. And then I come home. You know, I was like, yeah, you can stay the night, but you gotta be gone tomorrow. Like, like I have a good heart, you know. I, I help. It's a new wave I created. You know, it's help and love and happiness. And I've created this new wave in that because some people deserve to be loved. And no matter what race, no matter what gender, no matter... No matter what you're going through in life, you always deserve to be loved. And, you know, like, every, you should be concerned about people because some people don't have a roof over their head. Some people don't have protection from all the weather conditions. You know what I mean? So it's like, with all that snow and shit that we were having, I wonder how many homeless people actually died because of frostbite um, or because of hypothermia. I wonder how many people actually laughed at homeless people or made fun of somebody just because they weren't wearing name brand clothing or shit like that. Like, some people are just, like, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was a victim of bullying growing up, and I'm not gonna lie, I bullied people. I bullied people that bullied me or made fun of me. You know, I did it right back, but you can't fight fire with fire, man. You're just gonna have a bigger flame. <coughs> There's no winning when you play fire with fire, and it's pretty cold out here. Like what some people don't understand is that you have to... Every there, This world is so filled with hate and racism, um, downers and uppers, drugs, robberies, killings everything man and you can't go like that you have to here's a message for anyone who's out there getting bullied find help um look up the suicide hotline for your area i don't know if it's the same across the states but look up the suicide hotline for your area because some people get bullied to the point where they do try to kill themselves where they think suicide is the best option because they won't speak up for themselves because then they'll just get bullied harder or more and that's not the case. When you speak up and get help, shit does come to an end. It's sad that we live in a world where you have to protect yourself 24-7 for telling somebody um, your feelings or, you know, whether it's relationships, you got to protect your own pride. It's, don't ever have too much pride. If you see someone homeless, if you have some pennies or something, just give them some pennies. Like, or sit down and talk to them. You know what I mean? Like, some of them... 
a majority of homeless people are veterans. And with veterans, they usually became alcoholics or they have PTSD and, you know, they can't get a house, they ran out of money or whatever the problem may be. If you at least have some pennies or, you know, some leftovers or something, just they'll be happy to even have a conversation. I was in New York a few years back and I saw homeless people and all I do is just sit down and talk to them. And that's all they wanted. Because I asked them, I was like, what do you want in life? You know, they're like, in all honesty, I came to the point where I don't care about money and food and clothing. I just want to have a conversation with somebody. And I'm like, well, I'm here if you want to talk. I'm sitting right next to you. And he was just, you know, he teared up and was crying and, you know, and was like, <coughs> um, what you call it? He was just like, you know, like, I'm really grateful to have a conversation with you because I, everyone looks at me like I'm the scum of the earth just because I don't have a roof over my head and just because of how I look. And I'm like, you know, some people will do that. I don't look at you any different than I look at myself in the mirror. We're all human. We all make mistakes. We all have downfalls in life. We all have obstacles. You just have to keep on pushing yourself to get over those. That's what some people don't understand. They don't push themselves. They don't. That's another thing, guys. You, ha you guys have to push yourselves. Push yourselves beyond your limits. Get out of your comfort zone. Do something today that you didn't do yesterday. Just do it. You know, like Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Follow your dreams. Follow your goals. You're going to have obstacles in your way on the way to those goals, whether you don't have enough money to achieve it, whether you don't have transportation to achieve it, whatever the problem may be. I think I just saw a hawk, either that or a bird. No, that's a hawk. And, um, you know, it. you guys have to find a reason to live for those who are suicidal, for those who are depressed and think suicide is the best option. Your family loves you. You, you know, delete all that negativity. Just delete it. You know? There's no sense in crying over spilled milk. If things aren't really that bad as they should be, then just get rid of it. You know, you got to think, um, don't stress over something that's too, that's not that big of a, nothing is that big of a deal. If someone stole your bike, if someone stole money off you, it's just money. It is just a bike. Yeah, that may have been your last meal type of money or whatever the reason may be, but it's just money. It is just a bike. It is just whatever. As long as they didn't steal your ID or your social or whatever it may be, you know, it's, it's just what it is. Money is the root of all evil. And I'm not even Christian, but money, we're letting a piece of fucking paper, we're letting a currency rule us. We keep forgetting where we came from. Famous people always forget where they came from. Why? Because they have a bank account. They don't care about what, what's going on in the world. All they know is that they have money to do whatever the fuck they want. They can buy whatever they want. And that's the that's the trend, I guess. I mean, I don't know. People need to find a new trend. People find a, people need to find a new way in life. People are doing life in prison because of mental illnesses, but they don't speak up about it. Like, I'm not, don't get me wrong, um, touching little kids and being a sexual predator is nothing to be proud of, but something happened in their childhood that brought them to be how they are. And I'm not, I'm not on their side, I'm not condoning it, I'm not saying that they should not get the sentence that they're getting in prison. Because they should. They should get their life sentence. They should be in there rotting for what they've done. For the children's lives that they've ruined. Because those kids will never find happiness. Those kids will grow up thinking that there's something wrong with them because they were touched by a guy down the street named Bob or some shit like that. 
you know, and they got to live with that for the rest of their life. What I'm saying is that people look at people for what they've done and not actually what happened and what made them them, what made them who they are because of the reasons of their childhood. You know? I want to take my headphones out. Alright, why? Well, I have to go pick up Kendra at one. And then okay. I'm going to go visit Rhonda. Okay. And I want to stay here for a bit with the dog. Yeah, I'll stay here with the dog. Okay. Because I didn't want her down in the basement. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep her down. But that's where I'm going to end this. And like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Um, this is going to be, you know, vlogs, reviews, reviews slash vlogs, whatever. But um, you guys know what to do. So I'll catch y'all later.